So this video, um, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure oxygen for our Cray portal. Um, always make sure you have the latest inst Astoria WANbridge software installed um, before you begin any of these um, configuration procedures for the portal. So this procedure is going to customize your local copy of Oxygen Author to use our Cray data specializations that we have set up to enable our subject scheme and filtered search on the portal. We're going to have to perform this procedure every time there's a change to our metadata, if we add a new type of metadata, or if we install a new major version of Oxygen. <clears throat> so if Oxygen is running, exit out of Oxygen, and then go to Astoria and navigate to the Cray.Portal folder. The Cray.Portal folder has a zip file in there called Cray Oxygen Specialization. And what we're going to do is download this to our desktop. So right click on it and say File, Foreground Export, and select your desktop from the pull down menu and copy this file to your desktop. Save it. Now we're going to iconify the Astoria window and we should have a, a zipped folder on our desktop. So double click on this file and it should just open up in a Windows um, window. Drag the com.cray.attributes folder out of there. Drag the DTD file out of there. And drag the testmap.didamap files out of there. So we should have three objects on our desktop. At this point, you can delete the Cray Oxygen Specialization zip file. Now what we're going to do is navigate to our Oxygen installation folder on our laptop. So if you go to the Windows Start menu over there in the corner and you select Computer, double click on your Windows C folder, then double click on Program Files, not the x86 folder, but the regular Program Files folder. Then find the Oxygen XML Author 16 folder. Then find the Frameworks folder. Then find the DITA folder. Then find the DITA OT folder. And under there, is a plugins folder. This is where we're going to copy the cray.com attributes folder. I'll delete the one that's there. I'm going to slide my cray.com.attributes folder in here and it says I need to be an administrator to do this so click on the continue button and then that folder should be put into there. When you drag your folder in, be sure that you're not dropping it on one of these other folders. That's really easy to do. So when you drag your folder into there, make sure it says move to plugins underneath before you drop it. So now I'm going to navigate up a folder. I'm here in plugins. I'm going to click on the DITA O folder and under this DITA OT folder you'll see a DTD folder. 
Double click on that. Under there you'll see a technical content folder. And under there you'll see another DTD folder. Locate the map.dtd file. I'm going to delete the one I have. Locate the map.dtd file. Right click, do a copy, and then immediately do a paste in this folder. And it'll say you need administrator privileges. Continue. So what you'll have is a map.dtd and a map.copy. You just made a copy of the default DTD. Now copy the DTD from your desktop to this folder. And we're going to drag it into here and let it go and it'll say move and replace. We want to replace the map.dtd file that's in this folder with the new one and confirm that. One of the things I like to do is just double check the the time, make sure that this map.dtd file is in fact updated, and you can see I just copied it in there. Now that's all we have to do from the Windows side of things in moving files around. Now we're going to start Oxygen as an administrator. So if you right click on your or if you left click on your Windows Start button and then right click on your XML author, your Oxygen SML author icon, there's a menu option called Run as Administrator. You want to select that so that you can modify your Oxygen configuration as an administrator. So this will bring up Oxygen then, and um, we have to run a little process to invoke this change. When Oxygen comes up, I want you to open up the testmap.didamap file that was in the um, Cray Oxygen Specialization zip file. Um, I'm going to open this file up with Oxygen, do a file open. Go to my desktop, open the testmap.didamap file. And then I want to open this in editor. You you will probably see a validation error in your data in your window, or you may even see a stick up that um, warns you of a validation error, and that's to be expected. What we need to do to invoke our change is go under the document menu, select transformation, then configure transformation scenarios. Under here there's a tra uh, transformation scenario called run data OT integrator. Select that checkbox, make sure that the data OT integrator is checked on, and then apply associated down below and you should see some status messages come up on your oxygen window and hopefully you see something like build successful the last thing you need to do just as a kind of a sanity check um, you can exit out of the um, the status window down here and then you can do a document validate validate command. If you select that you should see a green light that says document is valid. If you don't see that go back and check all of the steps to make sure you don't have a file in the wrong place Make sure you're running it as an administrator because you need administrator privileges to run this integrator tool. And um, if you have any other questions, uh, let me or Siren know.